morning. We invited Governor Kathy Hochul to meet for an interview in a place meaningful to her or her campaign. Hi, how are you? Hello, Governor. How are you? Welcome. She chose a spot in her hometown, Buffalo, the Apollo Diner in low-income Lackawanna, steps from the trailer park where her parents once lived. Why did you choose this diner? Well, first of all, I love diners. Secondly, this is in the neighborhood where my parents started their married life. And I never forget the people that are still here, and they have not forgotten me either. I know she's from around here, so that's what makes us buddies, kind of. <laughs> I just love her enthusiasm. We did visit yesterday, and people know that that's where your parents lived. Not everyone is necessarily voting for you there. She's all for, you know, raising the minimum wage, but if you study minimum wage, it's only going to drive the price of everything else. Thank you. Thank you. Before leaving a $15 tip on her cup of tea, How are you? Hochul works every table in the diner, unapologetic for ignoring her opponent call for multiple debates. Why did you choose to only debate once? That's in keeping what we've always done here in New York. You think it was in the best interest of voters to debate only once? I hope they watched it because I don't know what else new would come out in a different debate. I think the contrast was so clear between myself and Lee Zeldin. I'm running to take back our streets. You can either work on keeping people scared or you can focus on keeping them safe. You said during the debate that Lee Zeldin is trying to scare voters. Does that mean that you think he's exaggerating the crime problem? I think he is trying to scare voters and not offer a legitimate plan. You cannot say you're tough on crime and be soft on guns. And you often pivot to that point, but I'm um, just wondering, are you saying that he's creating a worse impression of crime than what actually exists? No, what I'm saying is he does not have a serious crime plan. She's trying to change the subject. I disagree. She was very proactive, especially after the shooting here. Hochul's gun changes have included raising the age to purchase a semi-automatic rifle after the racially motivated supermarket massacre here in Buffalo by an 18-year-old back in May. Every time I come here, it's terrible, terrible. Traumatic? Very, very emotional. I care about um, Kathy Hochul being elected. I'm nervous about that because, you know, she wasn't, you know, voted in. Bad people are going to get their hands on guns no matter how many laws you write. That's why they're bad people, because they don't follow the rules. Is there more to do on bail reform? I took strong steps. I gave more discretion to judges, more power to district attorneys. It's been in place a few months. I want it to work, but I'm absolutely willing to look at it all over again and in the next session if we find out that there's areas still of weakness. What is she doing? Making a mess. Um, people are getting released on charges. They should be in jail. On the subject of nonviolent crime, not that long ago, in New York, in our city, crime was down, incarceration was down, stop and frisk was down. How is it okay that we're now seeing people who commit a dozen burglaries face zero consequences? That's not okay. That's not okay. That's why I need the system to work with the laws we put in place. We change the laws. Repeat offenders need to be held. Even in nonviolent crimes. They need to be held when there's repeat offenders. But despite Hochul's changes, repeat offenders are still being released because New York's new laws still require judges to use the least restrictive bail, meaning even when bail is set, it's set low. What matters to you in this election right now? Everything now. Economy and democracy. While Democrats are quietly concerned with voter apathy within their own ranks and the sense that Zeldin could be surging. I don't agree with him at all. But I, I won't be upset if he becomes the governor, you know. Hochul pushes back hard at Zeldin's claim that nobody loves her. I don't care whether Lee Zeldin loves me or not. I will be the next governor of the state of New York. That's the best ice cream, isn't it? In Buffalo, Melissa Russo, News 4, New York.